da läuft jetzt gerade der Prozess. Das funktioniert quasi sehr gut hin. So, we're still at the CBIT 2017 with Sign. Uh, you guys are from Poland and you are you know, specializing in filtering, in, in air filtration for 3D printers. Why? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, I think uh, this is a bit the way we want to position our, our company around uh, safe and clean. I think we think that there is, um, there is, a, there is an issue around uh, the printing uh, process, the 3D printing uh, process in terms of, we know that there is some emission and there is some smell coming out of the uh, 3D printing process and we want to position ourselves as a company that can sort that out and can propose a solution around that issue, okay? So basically all the machines that we are uh, presenting uh, today and, and this week uh, during CBIT are including the air filtration sign, okay, which is our technology. We've got it, uh, this is patent pending uh, this is using uh, right now the um, photocatalyst uh, process. And obviously, I mean, I, I see the application for schools and, and universities and, and that sort of thing, but do, do you think that the DIY user, the, the consumer essentially, will care about air filtration at all? I think they don't care right now. Um, and I think we are trying to, you know, the market is still very unmature. You know, I'm new in the market, but what I'm seeing is very unmature. Um, and I think we want to create a trend uh, and, and starting with the area where filtration is important and, and you mentioned it, you know, school, university, in the medical area, for example. And then we want to set up some kind of trend in a way so that this become a standard, so that all the 3D printer in the future will be having filtration. So your filtration unit is, is just this, this little black box in the back and you're saying it's... Um well, what, what, what is the technology and why is it better than, than what we have right now? Yeah. I think there is, there is two things first, you know. I think the first thing is that the machine is fully enclosed to, to avoid all the, the smell and, 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 and the bad emission to get out of the machine. But more than that, as you said, and, and I will open the machine because it's easy to open it. As you can see, on, on the bottom, on the, the left hand side of the machine, you've got this little box which is our sign filtration. The size filtration, you've got two things in the size filtration, and I will close it back. You've got two EPA, EPA filters, okay? And in the middle, you've got a photocatalyst system, okay? So the EPA uh, filters are here to remove the big particle, and the, um, the photocatalyst system is here to remove the small particle and the smell, okay? So we've got the full system, the full box is removing everything that is now, I need to be very precise here, it's 85%. We are removing 85% of all the emission coming out of the 3D printing process. Uh, what size of, of nanoparticles, like the one everyone's talking about, what, what percentage of, of those can you remove with the uh, photocatalyst? I think it's, uh, as I told you, it's 86%. We are removing 86% of, of the particle coming out of the, of, the, of the process. And then what we are having is we are having a R&D program which will run in, into the next two years for two things. We want to go from 86 to 100 percent, that means to remove everything. And the second thing, as you can see, it, it's quite a, a significant box inside the printer. We want to make it smaller, okay? So make it smaller, making more efficient, and make it more cost effective, because if we want that to become an industry standard, we need to be in a position to make it cost effective. And obviously for the filtration to work, you have the entire machine enclosed. Do you just enclose it for the filtration or do you also heat it on the inside or you know, do any other things um, with the so enclosure? I think the enclosure is, is mainly, is, is there, there is nothing uh, linked with uh, eating inside, etc. I think the enclosure is, again, you know, if we want this machine to be in school, it's for safety purpose, okay, so that people you know, you are in the uh, 3D printing, you have been probably uh, burning yourself, you know. So we want that to be to be avoided as much as possible. But on the other side, it's transparent so that you can still see the process as you as you can notice it. So it's, it's more for a safety uh, point of view. There is no eating inside the chamber. Yeah, so other than the, the built-in filters, you also have this prototype over here, this concept more or less for like room scale filtration. Let's check that out. So obviously this thing isn't a, a working prototype, it's, it's, it's a marker, but what is your idea with this sort of a device? I think the idea of this kind of device is that basically the application is for people which are having 3D printer for a long time. They've got a closed office and, and they are 
bothered with the smell in the office, etc. What we want to propose is the technology that we've got in our machine is to propose it as a standalone feature. Okay? And you just you just put that next to your printer and it filters the entire room air? It will it will filter and, and I think we are working on it. So perhaps there will be different size depending on the size of the room. Okay? But the idea is that this um, this item will regenerate the air of your 3D printer room, okay? And, and will protect you from the bad emission coming because we know that some machines don't have any filtration, some machines are open machines, so that's why we are thinking about proposing that to the market. So other than the machines that we, we're seeing over there that are like white label OEM ones, uh, you also have your own line of uh, branded 3D printers. Uh, you've got Two here. Can you tell us a bit about why they are special? What's what's different about you know other machines in that size with them? I think the, the main thing on, on this machine is that it's uh, in line with the with the OEM machine. It's, it's fully enclosed. Okay, so you are fully protected. And then um, on our next generation that we are working on and that we got behind of me, um, we'll have also the sign filtration. Okay, it will be enclosed sign filtration. Okay, and then in terms of safety, what we are working on. Is the new machine will have the, the camera so that you can see the process going on uh, from your computer. Okay, we've got also a very interesting um, uh, feature is that we put um, a, an extra battery so that when you've got uh, uh, an electricity shut off uh, during the, the process, you don't lose your your model. You've got the extra battery which is saving the the model, and then you can restart when the electricity is back. So we are we are developing that. We are still focusing on on the motion. And, and then in the next few months, we'll be launching the, uh, our new machine, okay? And there are still open platforms, there's still you know, open source machines as far as firmware and, and film and access goes, yeah, right? Yeah, this is a very important point. We are, we are a machine very open, okay? Uh, we are open in terms of software, we are using Cura, which is an open source software. Uh, in terms of filament, of course, we are having our own filament, but you can use some, some other filament. So this is a very open machine. Our positioning as a company is toward safety and cleanliness, okay? Uh, and, and, and for the rest, I think we are, we are pretty much competitive with what is existing on the market. All right, thank you. That's good.